welcome back. Okay, so today I wanted to play around in this new palette from Pat McGrath. This is her holiday palette and, well, one of them. She came out with several holiday palettes, but this is the large one. And this one is called the Luminous Legends Mega Eyeshadow Palette. And it's so cute. It looks really, really pretty with this like holiday wrapping packaging. And I do love that. This is what the eyeshadow palette looks like inside. So there's some gorgeous neutral shades in here for everyday looks, some beautiful, really gorgeous shimmers in here, some of her specialty shades, as well as some pops of color, the blue and the purple. And of course, as you can see, I did go ahead and play around with this palette today and just kind of had some fun with these shades and i wanted to just kind of share my thoughts and share this look with you guys so let me just give you some information on this palette though um and while i read what it says on the pat mcgrath website you guys can take a look at some swatches that i did earlier excuse the mess but i did want to go ahead and show you guys the swatches so what it says about this luminous legends mega eyeshadow palette which by the way retails for 76 dollars on the pat mcgrath website i purchased mine from sephora but you can get it of course on her website as well now it says here elevate your artistry with the mesmerizing luminous legends mega eyeshadow palette Drawing inspiration from precious gemstones, this exquisite palette offers a spectrum of dazzling jewel tones, wearable neutrals, and bold brights, spanning a variety of textures from soft mattes and sparkling astrals to gleaming metallics, the creamy blendable shadows glide seamlessly across lids with intense color payoff, masterfully curated to elevate your makeup looks. This limited edition jewel unlocks infinite possibilities this holiday season and beyond. So I would definitely say that's a very accurate <laughs> description of this palette. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I mean, spoiler alert, it definitely um, has some of the amazing quality of a lot of Pat McGrath shadows that I have in my collection. I really, really enjoyed playing with this. Love this colorful eye look that I created. And so, yes, if you guys would like to just kind of come along with me, see how I created this look, and just enjoy a little bit of an eyeshadow tutorial, then stay tuned because it's coming up next. Okay, you guys, so let's get started. Before I go in with this eyeshadow look, I want to prep my lids with a eyeshadow primer, and I'm using my Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer today to do this eye look. One of my favorite eyeshadow primers. It works really nicely with any eyeshadow. So the first shade that I want to go into in this palette is a transition shade. And I chose this beautiful coral shade, which is called Coral Caress. And I'm just using a fluffy brush to kind of tap that into my crease. I want to make sure that I have this nicely built up and blended out just to add a soft, blending shade for the rest of this look. I'm taking my time with this. I'm starting out by tapping it down wherever I want it to be and then gently blending it in so that it's a nice seamless look. And this eyeshadow is performing beautifully as you can see here. It's a beautiful color and I'm not having any difficulties with applying it or having it show up very very nice so the next shade i'm going into is the darkest matte which is sable seductress and as you can see i'm starting out by just tapping that in that outer corner this is going to be my deepening shade and just using it to add some depth and dimension and also you know create a gentle smokiness to this look this color is really, really pretty. I wouldn't mind if it was even a little bit darker, but I think for this to be a nice universally uh, usable palette, that this is a great shade to have in here because it's just dark enough, but it's not too, too deep. 
I don't believe for any skin tone or for anyone to use and enjoy it when creating looks. So next I'm going in with the shimmers, but before I do so, I'm going in with some of my e.l.f. glitter glue. And I'm just tapping this on the first half of my eyelid. As you can see, I'm placing it where I'm going to put those shimmers down. And the reason why I like to use a glitter glue or a glitter primer is because I do have hooded lids. And as you can see, I do have creases in my lids. So it helps to hold the shimmers in place. So I'm going in with the first shimmer, this gorgeous, beautiful purple shade is called Orchid opulence orchid opulence and as you can see i'm just taking a flat brush and tapping that all over the center portion of my lid i want to mainly focus it here because i'm going to go in with that blue later as you guys saw earlier in the video i did play around with both of those gorgeous shades but i'm just tapping it down making sure that it's nicely adhered to that glitter primer because like I said, throughout the day, if I don't put a glitter primer down and I use gorgeous shimmers, I don't care how amazing the quality, it's going to crease. And this definitely keeps my eyelids from creasing. So now I'm going in with this gorgeous blue shade, which is called Lunar Luxury. And I'm just tapping that on the inner portion of my lid using the same type of flat brush. And as you can see here, I'm gently blending it into that purple shade while also just kind of manually creating a cut crease. So I'm doing this kind of like the easy way, you know, by shaping out that cut crease while I'm applying the eyeshadow. And as you can see, this blue is beautifully pigmented. Now I did go ahead and apply my lashes so I can move on to my lower lash line and I am going in with this Beauty Creations eyeliner. It's in the shade Denim. This is definitely my favorite blue eyeliner. I use it quite often whenever I do colorful looks because the color just pops and it's a beautiful eyeliner that lasts all day. Now on the outer portion of my lower lash line, I wanted to go in with black. I didn't want black blue all across my lower lash line. I wanted to kind of do half and half just to create a different type of look. And now I'm going back in with that dark brown and just smoking out my lower lash line. So just to kind of bring this whole look together, create more depth on the lower lash line and just, uh, you know, kind of finish that up. Now it's time for that inner corner pop, you guys. <laughs> now this shade here, which is Lunar Luxury, definitely a beautiful luxurious shade i mean when i went in i knew immediately i was like girl you're gonna have to tone that down because it is just way too bright but there was no toning it down <laughs> so i had to just kind of blend it in with the shadows on my eyelid as well as kind of just kind of tone it down on the lower lash line because when i tell you it pops it pops you can see here but I love it. I love a beautifully pigmented inner corner pop. I love something that I don't have to just keep applying over and over again. And that's, you know, a credit to Pat McGrath's shadows. Her shimmers are just unmatched. So yeah, I'm just going in here. I really didn't have fallout to be honest with you. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't have that gold everywhere. So this is it you guys, this is the final eye look that I created with this new Pat McGrath Holiday Palette. I really, really love it. I think my favorite part is the inner corner highlight. I mean, when I put it on, I was like, whoa, now that's pretty crazy. It's pretty, pretty bright. And I kind of, you know, had to tone it down a little bit with my brush, but this shade here, that I put in the inner corner is not plain. I could see that all over the lid with just like a smoky, a dark smoky eye look. I really, really love that shade. I think it's gorgeous. Of course, you guys know I love the blues and the purples. Those are my favorite shades to play with um, on my eyelids, hence the name Colorful Camille. 
but I definitely just wanted to spend a little time playing in this palette with you guys. If you're thinking about purchasing it, I definitely think it's worth it. In my opinion, I think even though the packaging is not like, you know, the big um, mothership palettes and things like that, which can get a little heavy and cumbersome, they are nice to have and collect. I do collect them, but this is nice to just kind of grab, do a beautiful, gorgeous holiday look with and not have to worry so much about the weight of it or, you know, it breaking or breaking other things <laughs> with it. But yeah, so that's it, you guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me to create this look, play around in this Pat McGrath palette, and I will see you guys on my next video. Toodle!